Hello, Mr. Meikle here. This is a very basic introduction to how we're going to use Illustrator. This is Adobe Illustrator, and we're going to have a look at the up here is what we're going to focus on today, and these the the user interface, the tools that we use in Illustrator. So let's have a look at this panel here. We need to do one more thing. You guys need to become very familiar with this here. So these a few things up here we're looking at, and down here we need to be very familiar with things as well. Okay, there's also a lot of key things up here that we're going to look at and we'll look at them a bit later on where there's lots of things we can adjust here. Now again there's lots of tools here. These are the ones I want you to notice and practice. The selection tool here and a direct selection tool. What's the difference? Well let me show you here. That I've selected everything. If I go direct selection with this tool I select one of those points. See this bit on the B? Now all I've done is select that point. So that's why we need this tool. So those two tools, this is the one you're going to use most often. You'll see me jumping around a lot with this tool down here. This is the zoom tool. Very powerful, almost exactly the same as how it's used in Photoshop. So if you're used to Photoshop, these tools are, are similar. The drawing tools look similar, but they're slightly different. These are the shape tools that we create. So we've got a pen tool here. I'll tell you more about this later on. This tool's quite complicated. Very briefly, it works like this. You're going to hold it down and it creates nodes and you draw like this. So this is one way of drawing shapes and you can click and make straight lines or curved lines. And I'm going to come down here, see these at the bottom here, we switch the full around, the fill and the outline. And we're going to practice that again later on too. This is a text box. So I'm going to delete that away from there, I don't want that. We have a text box tool. This one here, very important. So you can do it a number of ways. If you just click and start writing, it'll start writing like that. Um, now I can also draw a text box like this. So if I want the text in a shape, I might do it, draw it like that. That's the shape I want my text in. Now I just start writing like that. And it's going to immediately fit that text box. Um, so sometimes you, you might prefer just to type. If, if you've got one line of text, generally I just go and type like that. But if I've got a lot of text, I might hold it down and draw a text box for my shape. Now you can adjust these things later on. You can control and you know copy and paste using the edit button and drop things into text boxes. But we're going to move them around and we can move these text boxes around and very easy to, to change the shape like that. And there's other ways we can do things as well. Um, coming down here, this is another tool we use a lot. So we've got rectangle tools, rounded. Just have a play with these. We're going to change them around. We've got a rectangle tool. Just have a play around with them later on and you'll get used to how they work. Um, the little arrows, if you hold that down, it'll show a whole lot of other options that you have and see. And then there's even another option. So Illustrator is full of all these options and things you can do. So we've got the brushes over here, two kinds of brushes, the eraser tool, a scissor tool, a knife tool. There's other tools we can use around here. Reflection tools as well here. Sometimes we want to reflect an object. Lots and lots of different tools here that we can use as well. But we're, I'm not, I don't want to focus on them today. The eyedropper is a good one for getting a color. But the ones that we're going to use the most, this tool, zoom in and out, you use that all the time, select tool, shape tool, text tool, one, two, three, four. Just get used to using them. The hand tool we use a bit too, we're going to move things around like that. Okay, you can use the space bar. What you can use too is if there's a shortcut, if you've got this arrow and you press the space button, you can move it around. File. So file over here is a. This is where we're starting from. So we got we got file and U is how we start. You'd have a whole lot of different choices that we can use down here, or we can come into custom. The other thing to notice in the file over here is this is where we save things. So we go save. You notice the keyboard shortcut Control and S. We're going to use a lot of keyboard shortcuts in Illustrator. There's lots of other things we can look at, but just today I'm going to just choose one or two quick things to notice in each of these boxes along here. Some of them are important, some of them are not very important. So I'll just come down here and we'll have a look what's going on. So right now you see in here that we're using File. We've talked about New and Save As. So what I'm going to jump across straight away to now is File, coming from File here. We're now going to come across the window. So over the other side here, we've got window. I want, I want to look at these things, workspace, align, some other panels, swatches and pathfinder maybe. So that's all in here. So we're looking inside the window panel. Now this is windows, this is part of it here, is this thing here that I'm moving around right now. 
But if we have a look, there are heaps of different panels down here. See all these things that are clicked on and off. And we've got arrows that we can use as well. So they come up here. So make sure you're looking at the little arrows in Illustrator. There's always a lot more things than you think there might be. So if I turn those controls off, for example, watch what happens. See, everything's gone around the edge of it, but this is still here, because this is the basic thing. This is it down here. The absolute beginner stuff's on. But what we want is we always want one of these things on. So I come back up here to Workspace, and I'd have a look there. And I might use one of these. If I was working in Layout, I'd stick here if I'm trying to paint. Here, if I was using Typography, I might be up here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave it on Layout. Leave it on Layout. Windows, Workspace, Layout. Leave it on Layout. So that's that there. So we've got the Windows, so we've got the Workspace. Another one that I like to have open is Align. So I'll come down here and click on this one. So this is the Align tool. I'm going to show you more about that later on, but this is all these things about how we can click on multiple objects and align them. You see I have two objects here. I can use these tools here to align things, but we'll look at that later. Um, you see all the, these things are open now. Um, swatches is something I always like open. So you can turn things off here or you can click on them over here. So see I have the align button, I can also click on it there and it's gone away. See that? Now where did it go? It's gone but I can come and get it back here. And there it is back again. This is our most important box over here but just before I look at this one, let's look at some of the other ones. Some other important panels are swatches which is down here. This is your color thing. So a wee bit confusing. In Illustrator, the, the most important thing is not color here, but swatches. That's the easiest thing, and that's this panel here, which comes up, um, not immediately sometimes, but I always like to have that open. It's the fastest way to change colors. Pathfinder is something we're going to use a lot. Um, so you just follow them. See that's open down here? Pathfinder, it's showing over here, on and off. So they are ones that I would keep open a lot of the time. We're going to use them a lot as we're doing some design objects. So now what we'll look at is, I'm going to come into this view, which we see over here. See the view here? Now this is important in Illustrator because Illustrator is operating different, very different to Photoshop. Now a lot of you are used to Photoshop. Photoshop is a raster based um, software and Illustrator is vector based. Now a lot of people don't understand what that means. Let me show you what it means. So see this image here, this level one. I've created that in Illustrator. See this AI? This was made somewhere else and it's a JPEG. So these are different formats. So if we look at them, we go outline here. So I go I'm coming to the view and then outline. Watch what happens. See that this one has lines and this is just one object. So this is something that's been made. This level one's been made. You can see there's two number ones. There's three different circles around the edge. That's how we've got those colors. We come back to the preview and you'll see it in color. So that's a lot of the things we're doing there, outline and GPU, just to, to see where things are. It just make, brings them back to a line form. Another thing I like to have in here is the rulers on. So we come down here, we've got rulers, show rulers. See what's happened there? Now I can change that around. See that, have that zero change there? And it's also changed over here. So now when I draw an object, I've got my object in here. I know exactly where it is and I can work out exactly the shape using these rulers. See, I'm going to move my rulers around edge of the box and when I ho hover here it'll show me over here where it is. So I know it's just over 110 millimeters. Guides is some, so something we're going to use as well. Sometimes we want these on and sometimes we want them off. So see these lock guides or hide guides. So I can make guides that might help me and here they're set to lock which means I can't touch them. So I can pull this down and I've got a guide here which I might like to use. Now at the moment I can't click on these rulers and it might get a bit annoying. So I can come in here to my rulers and hide the rulers. So I'm doing that. I'm going to hide rulers and then I can do the same thing with guides. So we've got two things, the rulers first of all and then our guides down here. So the guides are locked. I can unlock them and now I can move them around. Sometimes you want it there, sometimes not. So I'm going to, un I'm going to hide all those guides. So I'm going to clear the guides. I don't really need them and now they're gone. The good thing and the very cool thing in Illustrator is when you're drawing something you can immediately make it a guide. So say I've got this box and I want that to be my guide. So I just go up here, View, Guides, Make Guides. And we see the guide there. And that's really helpful, isn't it? That guide there. I've got it not locked so I can delete them there. So that's those things there. We've looked at Outline, Rulers and Guides. Let's now have a look at um, Object. 
So as we go along, we're not going to worry about edit. If I click on edit, this is just paste and paste in front. It's a lot like um, most software. A lot of these things you don't need to learn, know too much about. So I would not worry too much about that one. If we look at object here, now there's lots of things we're going to use later on with objects. See a lot of these things are grey. Now to use the object properly, we've got to be clicking on things. So I'm going to talk about this panel here in a second, but right now this selection tool is very important. If I select on these two things, this one, and I'm going to hold down shift and select another object. Now you'll see all these things, see them starting to open up here. So I might want to group them or I might want to arrange them. I can bring to the front or to the back. So this is instead of using layers. So I can do this here. Now you're going to use this a lot. So it's good to get used to these controls here. You use that a lot. You might group things together too. So at the moment we see that one object. I click that and I move it. But if I click two of them, I can go object group. Now they become one thing and now I can easily move one thing. And we need to do that a lot. So I spend a lot of time grouping and ungrouping objects. Um, yes, and sometimes we might want to lock objects so they don't see that, that that's the, the thing there which we'd need. But to do that, we need to be clicking on something. Now we can lock it. Object lock. Now say I only wanted to work on one of those objects. They're together, so I need to ungroup. Okay, so we've looked at those things. Arrange, group, unlock, and lock. One final very quick thing is we've got type and create outlines. I'll just give you an example right now of that. So you see over here to the side I've got this little box here. Now when we compare these two here it looks exactly the same doesn't it? But this one has been created outline. See the shape of it? If I ungroup and ungroup again you'll see that this is now one object. Whereas this is a text box and I can type and do things inside here. Here I can't but this gives me advantages so sometimes we're going to have it just as type and sometimes we're going to have it as an object. So it's like we can draw with this one, we can't really draw so easily with this one over here. But once you've changed it, you there's pros and cons with both methods and we'll look at that later on. Um, and make sure we've got the things clicked and then once we've clicked that text, we go over here, type, create outlines. So see this one here? We want that. And notice what's happened there, this change. And if we look at them in outline, you'll see a difference too. See the outline, the difference here? They look the same now. But if I go back one, you'll see it looks like that. See the difference between these two here? Whereas this object, it's got all these points in it, which we can actually come in and manipulate now and move it and change things around. For example, notice how I've just changed that S. When we come back now into the preview, see that? I, I've changed that font. You can't do things like that when it's in um, type mode. But there's advantages and disadvantages to this. So let's zoom out again and we'll see that we've looked at all of these things here. These are the things, we've looked at all of those things there. So you should really go and practice. Try moving those things around, try learning how those tools work. I just want to come back to that idea of the vector. So that's it. So what have we looked at today? We've looked at these tools here very briefly. We've looked at some of these key tools up here. In subsequent videos we'll look in much more detail about how to actually make things. But just have a practice, get used to these tools where they are and we'll go through more of these during the course. Thanks for listening and watch the next video to find out even more.